Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another review. Uh, I caved. I uh, found a little weakness in my soul and I picked up the two exclusive uh, Balan Skull and Shin Hati figures. Um, wasn't planning on it, but uh, had an itch that needed to be scratched, so I did that. See, so, yeah, obviously, number 13 and 14, I thought we'd take, just go in number order and take a look at Balan Skull first. And then tomorrow, we'll take a look at Shin Hati. Um, there he is in the packaging. Yeah, I don't believe there's too much difference between this and the, the first release, uh, except for the soft goods hood, <laughs> which is a little bit silly. But it is what it is. Um, you know, the late, great Ray Stevenson, may you rest in peace, definitely be missed for any future stories with uh, Balin Skull. I hope we, I do hope they recast and continue his story. Um, it's going to take someone pretty high caliber to to capture the the screen presence and overall pull of what Ray Stevenson was able to do with this character. And uh, yeah, part of the reason why I picked these two characters up, they were just two characters that completely captivated me from the series. So a little right up on the back there, great picture of uh, Ray as Balin there, and on the side. So yeah, the robe slash cape has a bit of a, a bit of a green look to it but that looks cool I'm looking forward to busting this one open I'm looking also looking forward to replacing replacing the lightsaber blade my buddy uh metal jedi brian he's picked me up a couple of the orange blades from uh that store online that does <laughs> i can't remember the name of the store online but they don't ship to australia so he was able to get me a set of orange blades to replace these ones so i'm excited let's bust him open and have a look all right here is the handsome devil and his luscious beard and his lightsaber we're gonna get straight onto the accessories he just does come with his lightsaber with the extremely long blade which is the same blade that was used for darth malgus so why they decided to go with that one, I'm not sure. I don't think his lightsaber blade was any longer than any others. If we sort of compare that, I've, I did do a blade swap with my original one. So you can kind of see there the difference. But yeah, it's still, it's still red, maybe a little bit of an orange tinge depending on the light. But the uh, the ones that Brian's got for me, they should be much, much nicer than this anyway, at least size-wise. But um, yeah, it is unpeggable. It's a nice tight fit. Unfortunately, the lightsaber hilt does come with the same issue. It's that sort of flexible um, plastic, which is not good. It's not, not the best. Um, but yeah, I'm sure, you know, for the most purposes, this figure isn't going to be any different. But we're going to take a look at it anyway, because it's cool. And I like the look of the robe. I think, I think they've definitely um, done a good job with the robes. I do believe that this is probably how the figure should have come in the first place, along with Shin. They probably should have come with the robes as standard. But it is what it is. They're a business. You always have the option to not buy them. <laughs> so, before you get upset about Hasbro potentially ripping you off, you always have a choice. No one's got a gun to your head. Or blaster, sorry. Yeah, it looks good. It's a really, what Hasbro's been able to do with the capes and robes and stuff in recent years has uh, you know, improved dramatically. Just the cuts, the uh, the way they're sort of stitched especially with the way the hood's sort of stitched down on the sides there. It gets that nice sort of... pulls it down to the sides rather than just having it sort of floating up. And I like the way they've done this sort of... I don't know, it's almost painted. <laughs> but it's not painted, it's like a vinyl sort of a hem on the side of the hood. I think that's really nice. It's sort of... it's going to stop any fraying. Um, you may sort of get a little bit of that. This doesn't seem to be too bad of a fabric, to be honest. It's it's quite good. It looks nice. And, you know, if you want it to be a little bit darker, you can always dye it. To 
get a little bit little bit of darkness into it. But I don't know, I kind of dig the green. It's sort of, you know, he's got the sort of the green on the belt buckle there. And then on the outfit, he's sort of got those sort of tealish sort of highlights to sort of show weathering and stuff like that. So in terms of the head sculpt, it looks really nice. They've done a good job again. Again, I don't think it's any different. We'll get a little side by side while we're here. A slight little difference there. He looks a little bit more tired on the left. But yeah, still good either way. Still nice. And again, that sort of weathering look with the blue. When you look at it really close, it looks a little bit blotchy and sort of it looks like it's sort of been painted on. Um, but you know, on the shelf, you sit it back and it kind of just adds a little bit more depth to the outfit. I did sort of go over my original version with with some black, just a light coat of black over it, just to sort of dull it down a little bit. And I might do that, do the same thing with this one. But uh, yeah, we'll see. I do love his outfit, I think it's really good. Love the gauntlets. I'd love to know where they, where him and Shin both sort, sort of source their, source their outfits, whether there's some history behind it or whether it's just something they, they put together themselves. But I don't know, I really like it. Yeah, and just sort of standard pants underneath. Haven't done the uh, haven't done the swap with the uh, Reva legs yet. <laughs> this is a, that was a must-have. We all know about the uh, the height debacle between Balin and Shin, and you know being six-inch figures, and they made them six-inch figures as opposed to um, you know in scale for whatever reason. But it is what it is. Good thing the uh, Reva figures are quite easy to find at a quite discount price, so <laughs> it's easy to get a get one just for for customising. Um, articulation wise, got a ball joint in the head, in the neck, ball hinges in the shoulders. He's got those butterfly joints in there as well, which is nice. Ball hinges in the elbows. He's got the uh, the ball and sockets in the wrist, so no hinges in there. That's sort of ball and socket. You've got the uh, torso joint. He does have the barbell in the hips, he does have the hinge in the knee, hinge in the ankle and the rocker in the foot too. So I'm going to get the sublime, supreme, sublime articulation and we'll try him on the uh, Kessel Run peg stand. And I know it works, but for the purposes of the review, we're going to put it on there and uh, you know, peg his lightsaber. It's not a peg, it's a little hook and loop. Get that on his belt. Get that robe back on him. Yeah, he looks fantastic. I like the robe, just gives him that, that sort of, heightens the sort of broad shoulders that he just has that big booming presence. But uh, I did do the leg swap with the original Balin, so you can get an idea of the height difference. They're both on stands. So just to boost him up that little bit. Doesn't look like much, but it definitely, um, definitely aids the accuracy there. still very very cool all right folks thank you very much for watching i do appreciate this we'll take a look at shin hati next hope you stay tuned for that one definitely drop a comment let me know what you think give the video a thumbs up if you are new around here i do appreciate you checking my videos out and all that there is
This is Valen Skull, mercenary. We'll see you with another video very soon. Till then, may the force be with you always. We would be honored if you would join us.